Sonne im Herzen, ob es stürmt oder schneit, dann bist du im Leben für alles gefeit. Techno, die Musik also hat uns schon sehr äh, inspiriert, aber diese mausgrauen, akne befallenen DJs, die immer ganz klein hinter ihren Computers sitzen, also die bringen einfach nichts rüber. Ich lasse mir nicht einfach von 27- bis 30-Jährigen sagen, was ich für Musik hören soll. Also, und die sind mir alle zu alt und die haben eine alte Energie und das ist das Schlimmste, wenn ich was es gibt. Also. Die Jugendlichen sind im Moment ziemlich frustriert, weil ähm, sie halt nicht gerne in der Gegenwart leben wollen. Deswegen hören sie auch diese ganze 60s, 70s Musik, weil sie einfach nicht zu ihrer Zukunft jetzt stehen können. Oder halt sie flüchten sich irgendwie in so eine Techno-Welt, wo es mehr heißt immer Open Your Mind, aber wo keiner mal sagt Change the State. 150 Beats pro Minute ist das Minimum. Da zucken die Körper, der Kudam vibriert. Vor sechs Jahren bei der ersten Love Parade waren es kaum 200 Techno-Fans, die für die Liebe halbnackt auf der Straße tanzten. Dieses Jahr kamen Hunderttausende aus aller Welt. Aus Holland. <lacht> Hamburg. Aus der Schweiz. From Africa. Again. Was kostet dich das, das Wochenende? 300 Mark, so ungefähr. 500 vielleicht. Echte Raver, so nennen sich die Techno-Freaks selbst, scheuen eben weder Kosten noch Zeit. Hauptsache Party. Wie lange geht die Party eigentlich insgesamt? Na, weiß nicht. Für mich bis morgen früh. 24 Stunden, wie immer. Wie hältst du das durch? normal, also ohne Drogen. Ich kenne durchaus Leute, die erst bei sechs Pillen irgendwie gut draufkommen und das auch noch toll finde ich. Die Techno-Bewegung ist längst zur interessanten Marktgruppe geworden für die Mode-, Getränke- und Zigarettenindustrie. Denn um sehr viel mehr machen sich die meisten Jugendlichen keine Sorgen. Sie wollen Frieden, Peace, Freiheit, Freiheit Party. Liebe, Glück, Party Feier. Und wenn sie nächstes Jahr kein anderes Problem haben, dann kommen ganz bestimmt noch mehr Techno-Fans zur Love Parade. Not everybody likes this kind of music, especially within the music industry. Joining me on the show today is Marco Hagen, who is a musician, and you're against techno. Now tell me why you don't like techno music. Yeah, because uh, I think it's... Um, we have an organization, Musicians Against Techno, just to say hello, here we are. Not every German young person gets um, the only satisfaction in uh, dancing 24 hours. There's more. And um, techno music has no text, no words, no message. What are the main uh, differences, would you say, between, uh, between techno and, say, other forms of music? I mean, apart from the fact that, that lyrical content isn't very high. Yeah. Um, so, for me, music has to be more than uh, 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 mm -hmm. uh. This is one groove, the same groove all the time. And so uh, music is, for me, has to be different styles, varieties, and uh, techno is just one thing. Seven a.m. at the Brandenburg Gate. Technically, the morning after. But the Love Paraders just can't stop raving. They're all still dancing to an endless soundtrack of techno and house. Well, nearly all of them. In the Tiergarten Park, the city cleaners had a rude awakening, an estimated 150 tonnes of trash. The park survived the onslaught, but the organisers' promises to keep litter down to a minimum didn't. I just have to say now how pissed off I am that so many people tried to make money out of the Love Parade and sold cans just to make some damn stupid little business. I've got to say this because it just hurts the park. But despite the scenes of devastation, the official reaction has been praise, not criticism. Berlin did well from the event. The Love Parade family brought with it an extra $70 million for the city. So we're here in the studio with Verena Feiger, who was one of the organisers of the Love Parade. Now, we've just seen that's probably the first time you've actually been able to sit back and look at it quite relaxed. Was it just a nightmare of organisation, or did you have some fun that... Um, it was 
it wasn't exactly a nightmare, but sometimes it looked like a nightmare a little bit. It was a crazy thing to do, mm -hmm. actually. It was a lot of work. Now, you call it a demonstration, and this has been a big point of contention about whether it's a demonstration or a party. How many of the 700,000 people who came thought they were coming to a demonstration? How many thought they were coming to a party? It was a peaceful demonstration itself. It was peaceful itself. It was peace itself. So why isn't it a demonstration? I think it is a demonstration. It is the demonstration that people can come together and be peaceful. You think, you think that the, the, the Love Parade does demonstrate that there is a, a peaceful movement behind techno and behind rave? Yeah, I think so. Because in, in our world nowadays, we have wars all over the world. This is a fact. And we have them wherever we look, actually. And to, to get several hundred thousands of people to come to one place in one day just to go there and just to go there in peace and just to have there a good time together, I think this is a sign and I think this is political. At exactly 7 o'clock, Stefan, Claudia, Daniel and Günther are ready for the drive to Berlin. Their friend Matthias is already waiting for them in the center of Greifswald. Now the Love Parade visitors have all met up and they're in great spirits. They've got 250 kilometers ahead of them. The young people have had to dig deep into their pockets for the Love Parade. The hired minibus costs more than $300, no small sum for the 20-year-olds who are all apprentices. Then there's the money for gas, food and the entry fee for the clubs. There's nothing left for accommodation. They'll sleep in the car. But that is all part of the fun for them. A weekend like this costs $100 $250, and that's just to be there. You have to make do with little sleep and eat a bit of bread with sausage but no butter and that's it. And you have to drink. <laughs> the real thing that brings young people together is non-violence for the first time in history. In the past young people always got involved in some violent games or other, street battles or something like that. But that's not true at all of the Love Parade, not yet anyway. There have been some bomb threats, but to what extent they're real, we'll have to wait and see. I hope not. At 11 in the evening, after a four-hour journey, the group arrives in Berlin, raring to go. And now they're off to enjoy the nightlife. <laughs> Rave about one million techno fans dance in the streets of downtown Berlin in the Love Parade. Here by me in the studio, in the official Chill Out Love Parade Studio of 100 Grad, is now the woman who has created these techno sculptures that we have here in the studio, Julia Strausauer. Hello. Hello. You are a artist. How do you come to the idea of doing something like this? How must you be in Dr. Motte to form him in gips? Um, it is so. My patriotism to the Dutch techno gegenüber is tatsächlich wirklich sehr groß und denn diesen Phänomen wollte ich einfach mit den höheren klassischen Vorbildern verbinden. Dr. Motte ist als Gott der Liebe Amor dargestellt. Der DJ Dick ist, ist als Herakles dargestellt. Alles ist einfach ähm, wirklich sehr toll an diesem Tag, oder? Wieso bist du da nicht draußen unterwegs und feierst mit Weil den Menschen? Weil ich hier sein muss, Stefan! Oh Gott! Wie ist das eigentlich bei dir äh, zu Hause in St. Petersburg? Da aus den gewissen Kriminalitätsgründen kann man noch keine Love Parade da irgendwie äh, machen. Aber vielleicht Aber in Zukunft. Sie soll ja dezentralisiert werden. Ähm, ja, bei den Zeiten der Globalisierung, die dem heutigen Zustand der Politik, die wir nicht lieben, eigen ist. <lacht> Denken wir schon, dass irgendwie das alles überall schon auch stattfinden wird. Frau Straußewa, wir ja. danken Ihnen für dieses gelehrte Schlusswort. <lacht> Auf Vielen Wiedersehen. Dank. Auf Wiedersehen. Und, ähm, Und wir können gleich Liebe. nach der Sendung zusammen noch draußen auf der Straße 17 Uhr ähm. feiern. Machen wir, ja? Okay, ich danke. Julia, bleib noch hier ein Minütchen.
the Love Parade 2004 in Berlin. Will it happen? Yes or no? And now it's official and Techno Freaks be strong. The spectacular Techno Show will not be on parade this year. More on this and other stories in our news from the sea. The organizers of the Love Parade are giving up, having failed to secure the half a million euros they still needed to stage the world's biggest techno event. Negotiations with Berlin's Senate about financing the Love Parade ended in failure and the search for new sponsors was equally unsuccessful. The organizers intend to concentrate entirely on the 2005 Love Parade. Here in Berlin, hundreds of thousands of techno music lovers took to the streets for the Love Parade on Saturday. It marked the return of the giant open-air party to the city after a two-year absence caused by organizational problems. Techno fans from around the world descended on Berlin for the return of the Love Parade. The city's central thoroughfare was transformed into a giant dance floor. And music was provided by DJs young and old from 17 different countries. All in all, 40 floats made their way through central Berlin. The city continued to be the center of action after four weeks at the heart of the World Cup celebrations. And despite a good deal of skepticism in the run-up to the event, the organizers have shown that the Love Parade is back and people still love it. was not an open field but enclosed. There was only one access ramp where a tunnel and underpasses converged. People were streaming in from different directions. The crush became so extreme that many had difficulty breathing. 21 died. 650 more were injured.